investigation unfolding in Baltimore. In the last 10 minutes, Maryland Governor Westmore issued a state of emergency. He also sent us a statement saying that he is working with federal leaders to get help to crews on the ground right now. This collapse happened around 1.30 this morning and our crews have been on top of it ever since. Our Jacqueline Quinn and Jess Arnold are on the ground there in Baltimore getting a closer look at the search and rescue missions going on right now. And Lindsay Nance has detours to get you around the traffic issues that this is causing. Yes, 95 and 895 are going to be your best detours. This is going to have a massive impact on everyone driving through Baltimore, though. Uh, so if you have family there, friends, family, loved ones, or if you know anyone commuting to Baltimore, please let them know again, 695 both ways completely completely closed down and will be for quite some time. Here's a live look from Sky 9 flying over the scene of that bridge collapse for you. Really dark, but we can see where it starts to go in the water. And here's what the interstates in Anne Arundel County look like. This is about as close as I can get you to where that bridge uh, collapse collapse and closure really begins. This is 695 around I-97. 97 and 95 are going to be your best bet if you are heading from DC towards Baltimore. Here's where we're completely closed down. Again, the key bridge 695 or the Baltimore Beltway. That closure begins around exit 1, spanning all the way towards exit 44 both directions. If you're in DC this morning or in the DMV trying to head northbound, I would take 95 or 97. Once you're in towards downtown Baltimore, you can continue on to 95 over the river or again, you've got 895 as your detour in either direction. Of course, I will let you know as soon as we do see some progress, but expect a really heavy police presence and a ton of detours if you are planning a trip through Baltimore.